Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, my name is Mercedes. In today's video, I have a new collection from Cracked Polish to share with you all. It is called the Page Turner Collection. This is a six piece collection. I can't wait for you guys to see these. I feel like Cracked Polish is transforming into this amazing, amazing brand. They were already amazing from the beginning and now we're seeing so many new different things. They have joined HHC, which is Hella Handmade Creations. If you're not familiar with that, it's a um, pre-order where indie brands get together and create limited edition polishes for the month. So Cracked Polish has joined HHC. They've been creating so many different finishes, so many fun finishes too. Finishes that we are so used to seeing in the indie community. Um, so very, very exciting. These polishes, I'm not gonna keep going. I'm gonna let you guys see for yourself. These polishes are priced between 10 and $13, depending on the type of polish, or you can buy the whole set for $62. It's gonna be available September 20th. I do have an affiliate code and an affiliate link with Cracked Polish, so I'll make sure to leave that all down below for you guys. That's enough of me blabbing away. Let's get into the swatches. First up, we have Vintage Lampshade, and this one is described as a rich pine green with a slight blue-purple shift. This one reminds me of Halloween. It's giving me fall vibes and definitely Christmas vibes as well. On um, the first coat, we go on a little bit sheer, but we're just building up. You you will see. I see some gold, sh gold shimmer that isn't described in the polish description. I'm not seeing that blue-purple shift just yet. Um, but wait until the full hand swatch so i decided to go in for a third coat just to really deepen up that base um, and it really pulled everything together so it was just a quick little swipe over now i'm going to recommend three coats for everybody now on the full hand swatch this is where we're seeing where like where we're seeing the blue and purple shift along the perimeters of my nails i love this depth and dimension that we're getting it gives us very like mysterious vibes I love how this finish is sort of like metallic slash chrome like I feel like it really does give us these like old school sort of vibes which I think goes along very well with with this theme um, really enjoyed this one very versatile like you can wear it now all the way into the end of the year if you're a seasonal polish wearer or if not honestly it's a beautiful color to wear all year round as well pictured are three coats of vintage lampshade with a glossy top coat Next up, we have A Quiet Corner, and this one is described as a deep lapis blue with gold and hollow glitters. Such a unique polish, and I really enjoyed this one. Now, the formula is a little bit thicker than um, the first polish that we saw. This is a completely different formula. We have completely different components in here as well. So because of those glitters, it's gonna make your polish a little more thicker, a little more chunkier. So keep that in mind when you are polishing. Now, for me, I like to work in thicker coats. That is just my preference. That is just what I'm used to, and I'm trying to be better and do thin coats, but after doing something for so many years, it's really hard. So I will always suggest to you guys what I think you should do, um, but this is just my way of polishing. So definitely for this one, I would recommend at least two to three coats. If you like thin coats, then three coats all the way. You're gonna wanna use a glitter smoother because those glitters are gonna give you some texture. I love the depth and dimension that we're getting here. Like you can see some shifts to a more like darker, blue black like very dark dark green um, and i love how the base isn't completely swallowing up your glitters right we're still able to see the gold and the hollow glitters in here without them being you know burdened from this darker base a very fun color i can see myself wearing this in the winter time and honestly this would be a beautiful polish for summer because of how deep and rich it is as well but gorgeous pictured are two coats of a quiet corner with a glossy top coat next up we have leather bound and this one is described as a dark mahogany metallic with a slight green gold shift so another very unique shade and perfect for the fall time so this one applies like our first polish that we saw so it goes on sheer on that first coat but it does build up in the end you guys will see that so on the second coat, here we are building up that dark, dark mahogany base. We're getting lots of shifts already. We can see a little bit of that green, a little bit of the gold peeking on through. Now I did go in for a third coat just to sort of finish everything up and really give me a nice even look on the nails. Like look at that third coat and how it just brings this polish to life. We're seeing that rich 
caramel red brown brick shade we're getting dark dimensions dark shifts i see some of that green peeking through on the right side you see that and then on the full hand swatch that is where that green is pulling through so we do get those shifts um, we do get the green and the orange and the gold and all of that very antique like right very vintage um, which i feel is perfect for this theme all of these polishes like they just go so well with the theme and i have pictures here that go along with the inspiration of the polishes um, i'm gonna insert it for you guys just all of them so you can you can see they're just so cozy and i feel like the polishes are spot on to the inspiration and i love it but really enjoyed this shade. I feel like it's a very unique one and definitely something to wear into the fall and even November. This is a November polish for me. Pictured our three coats of leather bound with a glossy top coat. Next up, we have gilded edges and this one is described as a golden yellow with pink, green, gold shifting shimmers. This one had a really great formula for being such a lighter polish and for being a yellow polish. So we can see on the first coat, we go on sheer, but those shimmers are shining through. I like to say dancing shimmers because they do dance on the nail. When you apply the polish, they just like move and twinkle and wiggle around. Now, I did go in for a third coat just because it, I felt like it needed it to be complete to really get that nice full golden yellow color that we're seeing in the bottle. So I'm going to recommend three coats for everybody. Now, as for the shifting shimmers, um, we're seeing some of the gold and I don't really see like pink or green, maybe at extreme angles and maybe when we're outdoors, but we are still seeing a lot of the beautiful yellow shifty shimmers. Um, and then of course that beautiful golden base and this yellow is flattering <laughs> on my skin tone. I sometimes I get worried with yellows and them being too yellow, right? Like too warm. But I feel like this was a nice mix of warm and cool. So it was really flattering on my skin tone. Plus all those beautiful, beautiful shimmers in there too. Pictured are three coats of gilded edges with a glossy top coat. Next up we have bookmarks the spot. And this one is described as a penny orange with matching magnetic pigments. I didn't realize that this one was magnetic guys. So unfortunately I'm not showing it off that way, but nonetheless, it is gorgeous non-magnetized so on that first coat we go on pretty opaque i was very surprised i was thinking that this was going to be a similar formula from the earlier polishes that we saw but the second coat i got full opacity i'm going to recommend two to three coats and honestly working with thin coats i think is going to be best for everybody but we get that beautiful beautiful burnt orange look we're seeing so much of that orange yellow shifty pigment I can just imagine how gorgeous this would look if you did the um, what do you call that with the the velvet look yes this would probably look so stunning that way but honestly this looks beautiful just as it is um, I love the burnt orange looks especially for fall um, it's very pumpkin very orange like but still very flattering on the skin tone because of the shimmers in here I feel like it gives off um, very like rusty vibes um, which you know plays along into this page turner theme of just that cozy cozy like sultry sort of state but pictured are two coats of bookmarks the spot with a glossy top coat and the last polish in this collection is called reed and this one is described as a dark merlot cream I love the cracked formula when it comes to their creams. They just go on very smooth and very easy. Um, and they give you a such like such a squishy vibe when you are when you get like your end result. Now I did go in for two coats. Looking back now, I probably could have done three. Um, but I just did two. So I'm gonna suggest two to three for everybody. Doing the two coats this way, I can still see some bald patches. But when I was initially polishing, I don't remember seeing that. So I think it's just all of these close-ups. Um, but anyways, it gives you this nice glass stained, stained glass sort of vibe, right? A nice stained glass vibe. Like just like you're blowing glass out of a, what do you call those? Your, is it literally just blowing glass? Is that what it is? It just has that nice like mirror-like finish. 
but really enjoyed this one i think this would look beautiful if you use like a special effects topper over it like something with a lot of glimmer glitter and components even like a flaky topper to give you like a fall vibe that you know looks like leaves on the nails but you know with polish the options are endless pictured are two coats of reed with a glossy top coat all right i definitely have some standouts i have three of them the first one being a quiet corner come on guys look at this how different and unique is this i don't think i've seen a polish quite like this in i was gonna say in quite some time i honestly i don't think i have not recently anyways but look at how royal and regal this looks i love the addition of these beautiful like gold hollow flakies like this is just stunning and then you can still see the base color in here too just beautiful vintage lampshade i love all of these names by the way i love them um but of course i love my greens this is going to be a beautiful color for october for the fall time this nice sort of like metallic-y oil canvasy base and then your beautiful shifts in there as well. You can't see the shifts in the bottle here, but I can see them looking. Like you guys are seeing green and me looking here, I see blue. And then leather bound, you know I love my antique, prugly sort of shades and this one is right up my alley. Something so different, I feel like. Something very different, I feel like, but still like very appropriate for the fall time. I love the shifts, I love the formula, great, great polish. All right, that is all that I have for you guys today. Let me know what you are planning on picking up if you are planning on picking up anything. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one.